corner we're at 102. Uh, 102, right here in the corner. 102, nice. All right, guys, we're out here at 102 Fermo Avenue. This is uh, another wholesaler trying to sell a deal. We're looking to buy some rentals, so let's take a look at it. It looks like he's, uh, he's asking 26.5 for this property, which is low. It's because it has a slab, it's a slab, no basement. And uh, according to him, it's a two bed, one bath, about 860 square feet. And he says estimated repairs are only five grand. So we're gonna take a look at it. Updated bathroom, kitchen, water heater, and plumbing. So he's asking 26 grand. Before we got in the uh, in the car, we pulled up on PropStream and it was like what 44, 45 thousand as an estimate, PropStream estimate. So we are looking for rentals. This could be a, a potential two percent deal. You know, if we bought it for let's say, well he's asking 26 and put the suggested five in it plus closing costs plus everything else plus holding, be in it for about 35 thousand and you would think that this thing would rent for you know about 800. So you'd be at a little over the 2% rule. However, with it being a slab, the resale on it is going to be lower and that's also gonna be a lower appraisal. So it may not work as a burr deal particularly, but it could be a good rental. Let's check it out. Outside, you got good siding. It just needs to be power washed. Um, I would want to do something with these windows, uh, like the trim. It looks like it's all, you know, chipping away. So we want to do that underneath the house as well. You have uh, below the gutters. So I mean, just kind of scrape and paint. Uh, oh, look at this, guys. We're missing an air conditioner, a condenser. So depending on the inside, we may need a whole system. We may just need uh, the condenser. Hopefully, it's just the condenser. Um, it needs new windows. So, you know, as a rental, you might not need to replace those windows, but you know, you definitely want them for the resale. And if there's any broken ones, then we'll need to replace them anyway. Found the sewer. You all right? Yeah, almost lost my foot. Walk up your toe again. Don't go looking at houses and sandals, guys. That's my biggest mistake. So we do have a little driveway. This is on a corner though. Um, you know, ideally you don't want to be on a corner because it's going to kill all of your privacy. Any house that's on a corner doesn't really have much of a backyard because it's on a corner. Um, so you can see, you know, pros and cons with that. The carport is kind of nice. Better than not having one, of course. Um, this is a slab. It looks like there might even be a little crawl space right there. With these architectural roofs, it's kind of hard to tell how old they are, but it looks like it's probably got at least two sheets of shingles. That's my guess. Um, but again, it doesn't look bad. And as a rental, I wouldn't replace it if it's not leaking. And the backyard is, uh, again, corner lot, not so much private, but it is fenced in. I don't know about that tree. Probably want to take the tree out. Or at least cut it and trim it up. That works. It does? Yeah. Okay, good deal. Update your people, buddy. Yeah, thank you, buddy. All right, I'll take a look and let you know what I think. Okay, buddy. Thanks, bye. All right, so the paint's already done, it looks like. Windows are shitty, so we'd want to replace those windows. Uh, not only for the appraisal, but when we go to sell it, we're going to want good windows, so we might as well just do it now. So we got one bedroom, a bathroom, a bedroom, and a kitchen. So we talked about that roof on the outside and we're seeing signs of a leak, so it's gonna need a roof. That's almost certain. Got a little closet right here. We 
could probably save the tub and clean this up. Vanity looks good, toilet looks new. We need a mirror. And this floor is kind of peeling and popping up, so we would need to do a floor in here. Um, this bedroom, it's a little smaller than the last one. Again, we're gonna need new windows, but it's already painted, we just need to do flooring, which is great. Got a little closet. Here's our HVAC, so we noticed that our condenser was missing outside. This thing looks pretty rough. So the odds are you're gonna need a new complete system, HVAC. And in this area, you're probably gonna to wanna to put a cage on the condenser so it doesn't get stolen again. That adds about another 300 bucks. All right, here we are in our kitchen. We got a little pantry here, which is kind of nice. Looks like they painted the paneling. Uh, you got pretty standard hoods or Home Depot cabinets with Home Depot countertops, gas range, and a fridge. The kitchen's kind of tight. And then right off the back of the kitchen, we have this utility kind of area. So I guess this is kind of a I don't know what you'd call that, eat-in area. This is more of just storage. This is about the st all the storage that this uh, tenant would have. You have washer or dryer plug-ins, electrical panel, and hot water heater. It's hot back here. This room doesn't look like it's got any HVAC in it. So, we got one more door. That's the door that goes outside. The doors in the house actually aren't too bad, but it needs windows, it needs a roof, it needs flooring. So a roof we're looking at maybe three, four grand. Windows are looking at about you know two grand. Um, that puts us at six. Uh, flooring, you're looking at for this size house, probably another two grand. Um, and then you gotta get your inspector in here. So that's windows, roof, and flooring. You know, you're probably looking at, I don't know, 7,500 bucks. Oh, and an HVAC, almost forgot. So you're looking at three grand there. I mean, you're looking at 11, 12, I'd say 12 to 15 grand conservatively. Um, but you know, you, you could get most of it done for 15 by, by far. So 12, 12, 12 thousand is probably where we're at. Uh, he's asking, what I say, 26,500. So if we put a, assuming we paid full price and we put in that extra 15, that puts us at about 40 grand with this being a corner lot, two bedroom, no basement, I think we would get an appraisal of 50 to 55 with a new roof and new windows and a new HVAC, but that has to, those three things would have to happen, including the floors being refinished. So we'd be all in at 40 and we could get an appraisal for 55, so it's close. If we could get him down, it's actually really tight at those numbers. It's, we're gonna leave some money in it. But if we could get him down to 20 grand, it'd be all in for 35, and get an appraisal for 50 to 55, that may work. So let's make an offer. Let's see what we can get this for. We can't chase it. We can't pay over, over, uh, you know, over the, our MAO. So let's run our MAO. Let's actually do it backwards real quick. So Mike, do you think 55 is too liberal? I would use 50 because it's a slab. All right, perfect. Again, we haven't really, really dug into the comp. I, I get it. So 50,000 times 0. 0.7 is 35,000. Minus our repairs, which we said are gonna be 15,000, is 20 grand. If I was wholesaling this, I'd take another five to 10 off that number. But for a rental, we can maybe make this work. Now, I also discounted it at 70% instead of 80%. Uh, for a rental, I may go higher. However, this is a slab and it's in an area of town that's not that great of an area. I wouldn't want to live here, uh, but I'd love to own this as a rental. Somebody else would love to live here. So 20 grand is basically the most we could pay. I'd really like to be closer to you know 16 to 18, but um, 20 grand, will that work for you, Mike? Second set of eyes? Yeah, I would offer 15 or 18 to start. So start, to yes, that's, the, that's our MAO, 20, right? So let's start at, um, at 26 
Let's go to 18. I don't want to go too low and piss them off. All right, cash. What's up, buddy? All right, you're not gonna like my offer, my friend, but I'm gonna make you one anyway because I drove up here to look at this place. Okay. 17.5 cash. Close two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Under our price. Uh, okay. Bummer. Well. Yeah, I mean that's about what I'd be willing to pay for it. You know, to be honest, I like, get the most. I don't want to have to cut corners and you know this. I'm looking at this like a refi out at 80 percent, and you're just you're gonna struggle getting an appraisal above 50 on a slab, two bedroom in this area corner. You know, you need windows, roof, and flooring plus an HVAC. So, all right, man. Well, either way, I appreciate you sending it over. Send me some more. I'd love to look at them. If you guys uh, can't sell it and or can get the seller down, I could basically pay you what you're into it for. Call it 20 grand. So if you can maybe get them down to 17 or 18 and make a couple thousand, we could do it. Otherwise, just keep me posted, buddy. All right, man, I appreciate it. Sounds good, Mike. Thanks, buddy. Have a great day. And that's okay, guys. When I told you before we walked in this one, when you're dealing with other wholesalers, you know, it's hard to get really good deals sometimes because they're taking some of the meat off the bone. And that's okay though, right? If you are an investor and you're looking to do rehabs, you're looking to do fix and flips, uh, buying from wholesalers is okay. But if you're looking to do burr like I am, you typically gotta go direct to the seller because you need as much meat on the bone as possible. So that's us taking a look at a wholesale deal today, how we analyzed it, what we did, how we made an offer. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna add this into our CRM REI Black Book, and we're gonna follow up with Mike every one to two weeks until he sells it or we can get it at that number that we made, which was 20 grand R MAO. Thanks for watching guys.